The Kerlin County Fair officially opened its gates to the public today, and although the fair is there to entertain its guests, there are many important people behind the scenes that make the fair an enjoyable experience. Now Chelsea Brown caught up with some of the fair organizers that make this week run as smooth as possible. The Crow Wing County Fair wouldn't be complete without the food, the vendors, the animals, the kids, the carnival rides, and the organizers, such as Marge Hillman, who organizes the fairground space. Come to start yeah, January, I start getting phone calls, people checking to see if they ha if I have any room. She first began volunteering, picking up for the fair, and now for five years has been the mastermind behind planning where over 200 vendors will set up on the campgrounds come August. One morning I look out and all it is is grass and buildings and I look out this morning and actually yesterday already people were starting to put things up and all of us and today we've got our own village out here. Within the organizers village there are also location specialists that help run places like the horse barn and getting competitors to the arena. We announced to like in the barns when what class is coming up next and then they also we announce their numbers ahead of time when they're down there so they know to be up by the arena and ready to go. From long time fair goers to even fair competitors they found a way to give back to something they grew up attending. We've been at the fair every year since I was in third grade. Since I don't ride in 4-H anymore and stuff, it's fun to watch all like the younger generation riding and everything. So it's fun to see them. I have a very deep love for the fair. I, I love all that goes on. I love the, the animals, the excitement, the, the challenge of finding spaces for everyone and, and trying to find the space that will do them the best. Sharing what they love best about the fair with younger generations. The favorite part about all this week to me, honestly, is looking at the faces of all these kids walking around smiling and they're happy and they're excited. Youth revitalized, I guess you would call it. Knowing that smiles mean a job well done. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. The fair is open the rest of the week, closing Saturday, August 6th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.